Hey everyone, Biscuit again, and in this video we're going to be taking a look at the high grade Gundam Breaker Badlock Gundam 00 Quanta Command. And this unit is from the upcoming series Gundam Breaker Badlock. Uh, in case you don't know what it is, don't worry, I don't either because it is not out yet. Um, I actually got this kit early, as well as a couple others from Target. For whatever reason, they decided in October to, you know, just kind of push these out a little early. I have no clue why, and I'm not complaining, because this thing is sick, and I do not know how I would have waited <laughs> a whole extra two months for it. But yeah, uh, enough about that. Let's get right into the review. So starting off with the aesthetics of this thing, and I've got to say, it looks really good. It essentially just kind of looks like a uh, more realistic Gundam Quanta, which I really love the Quanta design. Uh, everything about this is more bulky than the actual Quanta itself, but you still do get uh, hints that this thing is the actual Quanta. Um, for colors, you get a very nice two-tone green. One of them is a dark green, and the other is a bit more of a minty green, almost in line with a Zaku green. And then you've got yellow, red, uh, gray for most of the inner frame and the weapons. And then you've got this kind of, I don't even really know what you'd call that. It's gray, I can tell you that much, um, for some of the weapons. And then you've also got a uh, clear yellow with foil stickers behind them for the GN condensers all over this thing, which look really cool. And yeah, that's really it for all of the, oh yeah, uh, you also get two stickers for right here, two black stickers, um, which isn't the kit's fault, it's... Uh, it's essentially just taken straight from the high-grade Quanta from 2010. So, for what this kit has in flaws, is made up for, and it's amazing looks. I really love how this thing looks. So, let's get into its accessories. So, let's start off with some gimmicks you can already do with this thing without any accessories. This little missile pod up here is on... It can move up and down, and it can even pull out like that, swing forward and backwards, and come off. It's not connected in the best way, uh, but it'll do. Um, this thing doesn't move. I have no clue what this is. If it's used for something later in the anime, that'd be sick. I don't know if it is. And as for the actual accessories, first you get this... Oh. First you get this sword, uh, which is nice-ish. I don't know. It's not. It's not really my favorite. This can go into the hand super easily, there we go, and it wields it just like that. In case you want it to look a little more action-y, simply tear off the hand and give it this widespread dynamic hand, and that'll just make your poses a little more better. But if you don't like that for whatever reason, you can also plug this back in and get the shield. And oh yeah, before I forget, you can also take these off, and those can be individual daggers so putting that back on there we go uh you can put you can plug this bit into the hand and this bit plugs into the little bit of on the arm right there for some extra grip there you go and if you don't like the sword you can put it onto the back right here just like so there we go and whoops be careful that this doesn't fall out it can occasionally do that and the gun uh, the gun almost seems to have a bit of a bayonet blade right here, which is really cool. That can go into the hand uh, super easily, and if you don't want it in the hand, then you can also put it right back into this bit on the back right here. There we go. And yeah, that's it for the accessories. Uh, it doesn't come with too, too much, because it doesn't need too much. Uh, this is a... It, for what it comes with, I couldn't be happier. Let's move on to the articulation. And of course, starting from the head down. The head is on a polycap ball joint, so it can move around, look up and off, look up about eh, not that far, and down also not as far. Uh, swinging this out of the way, it can move up and down. Same with this, except this one can't do as much as this. And like we mentioned before, it can move all over the place. Uh, the shoulder is on a ball joint, so it will rotate all the way around. Arm moves up that far can swing forward and back, and will even rotate all the way around. Uh, you have a double joint right there, and you also have a little bit of motion at the hand. The hands are just on ball joints, so they can turn around and not really move up and down all that much. 
The waist is on two ball jointed sections, but it's really the bottom one doing the work. So it goes back and forward pretty nicely, actually, uh, and will also rotate around. This front bit is a little loose on the poly cap that it's connected to, um, so do be careful of that. Uh, whoops. Legs can kick forward about, eh, not that far, and they can move back pretty good. And the splits just about, actually, no, 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 yep, you can get the full splits. Leg can rotate all the way around, however, this bit at the front might block it if you move it all the way around. You have a double jointed knee bend, however, it doesn't go too, too far due to uh, this bulky armor right here, but still pretty good. And the legs uh, can move forward and backwards. They are on a bit of a swinging joint right there. And yeah. Uh, oh yeah, this part can also move forward and back. Um, and they're also on a ball joint too, so you can get a little bit more out of that. So yeah, that's it for the articulation. It's really poseable for what it is, especially being based off of a kit from 2010. Um, which, it, again, this thing is really good. So let's move on to my final thoughts about this thing. So, final thoughts on the High Grade Gundam 00 Command Quanta. It's awesome, to say the least. It's very good. It's very poseable. The accessories are nice. It looks beautiful. There's really nothing to hate on it. I guess you could say that its articulation could be a little bit better, but that's excused because this is built, again, on a kit, on a kit from 2010. Uh, I really like this thing. I do. Uh, I highly recommend you get it if you're a fan, just in general, of Gundam. Because this, this looks really good, it poses nice, literally everything about it is a must-have. Uh, I cannot recommend this thing enough when it actually comes out. And yeah, uh, stay tuned for another review, which will probably be another model kit from Gundam... Uh, what was it called? Gundam Breaker Badlock. Alright, see you then. Bye.